Stop number 10 on the NSRA Melly Yellow Racing Series brings us to Charlotte Motor Speedway in Charlotte, North Carolina. <coughs> as we are here today for the running of the... As we are here for running of the... Quality Care... As we're, not Quality Care, bleh. As we're, running, as, we're running, as we're here for today for the running of the... Of the Coke Zero 300 as we're set for... As we're set for 40 laps of action on this racetrack here. At Charlotte Motor Speedway. This is the um, field of 41. Gets up, ready, gets up racing here today. On the pole for this event here, it is William Brock. He's on the pole for this event here today. The number four Kodak Film Chevy. He's on. He's alongside of him is car number three, Cole Deaver, and the GM Gibbon Chevy, the point leader, and also three-time winners this season so far on the Melly Yellow Racing Series Tour. Going to row two, we'll have Keith Batson in car one, the Baby Root Ford. He'll be alongside Nathan Hudson in car 60, the Winn Dixie Ford. Third row, we'll have car 17, Rob Evans, the Western Auto Chevrolet. Beside him will be car number two, Dylan Young in the DuPont Chevrolet. Uh, Since alongside. And by the way, Dylan Young has one of our in car cameras in today's event. Row four, we'll have Joshua Osborne in the number 63, Nescafe Nest Nes T Pontiac. He'll be alongside Bill Parker, the winner this season at Atlanta, and Rockingham, the 25 Crown Petroleum Fast Fair Oldsmobile. Fifth row with our second in-car camera, Sebastian Kukalon in the TIC Financial Oldsmobile, car number 8. He'll be alongside Charles Samper, who won a Hickory this season, car number 08, the DeWalt Tool Chevy. <laughs> Next row down has car number 32, Seth Cole in the Nestle Crunch Pontiac. And Levi McIntyre, car number six, the Roses Department Stores Buick. He won a season at Nashville on the short track at Nashville, that is, as well. <clears throat> Next row down has car 28, Cat Batson, who won at Talladega this season in the Texaco Havlin Ford. She'll be alongside car 44, Johnny Gardner. He has our third in car camera in the Slim Jim Chevy. <clears throat> Excuse me. Going to the next row down has cars 11, the Boazer Ford of Jessica Shelton. She won at Daytona in the Goodies, in the Goodies 300. She'll be alongside the Cheerwine Ford of Mort of the um, <coughs> of Quentin Moore in the Morgan Shepherd colors. Next row down has Carter Friesen, car twenty seven, the Gwaltney Big H Chevrolet. He'll be alongside Kyle Matthews in AC Delco Chevrolet car fifty two. Next row down is Gene Sanford in thirty four, the Hungry Jack Pillsbury Buick. She'll be alongside the Polaroid Chevrolet car forty six of Paul Minnick. Next one down is Emmanuel Hartnett, car 5, the innkeeper Buick. He'll be alongside car number 40, the Purex style Ford of <coughs> Julius Anderson. Next one down has Dustin Bowen in car 7, the Skull Bandit Buick. He'll be alongside the number 9 FDP Brake Chevrolet of Austin Colano. Next one down has car 31, Carson Gummin, the Channel Lock Oldsmobile. He'll be alongside car 87, the Texas Pete Sauce Chevrolet of James Henry. Next row down is car 72. It is John Andrews in the Detroit Gasket Oldsmobile. He'll be alongside the first aid sports drinks Oldsmobile car number 20. It is <coughs> it is Jeremiah Dwayne's is alongside. Next row down is Nathan Orman in the number 92 Stanley Tools Chevrolet. And number 0 Skull Classic Magic Oldsmobile it is Jacob Thibodeau is alongside. Next row down is car 45, Joshua Michaels in the Molly Black Gold Chevrolet, and, Cl and Chloe Owen in the number 55, Lexair Hair Heating and Air Conditioning Ford. Next row down is car 03, Arthur Xavier in the Delco Voyager Chevrolet, and number 75, Food Country Oldsmobile of Jacob Sturgeon. <clears throat> Next row down has car 48, Mitchell Collins in the Staff America Oldsmobile, and number 36, Cox's Dry Lumber Pontiac of Ryan George. Next one down, Jackson Haywood in the Carolina Ford Dealers Chevrolet, car, Carolina Ford Dealers Ford, car 01, and number 99, Jesse Turner in the Armor Food Line Chevrolet. Next one down, Justin Dearborn in the AC Delco Chevrolet, car 15, and car 38, the red carpet lease Ford Credit Ford of Kev Shearer, and starting shotgun in the field will be car 59, Ryan Brommer in the Alliance Truck Parts Oldsmobile. So again, in car cameras today will be carried by Dylan Young. <clears throat> um, Sebastian Kukalon and Johnny Gardner here comes to command the firing en engines for the for the Coke Zero Three Hundred. Brothers, stop your engines!
So again, the manufacturer's breakdown for this race here today, 16 Chevrolets, 9 Fords, 9 Oldsmobiles, 4 Buicks, and 3 Pontiacs is the manufacturer's breakdown for this event here today at Charlotte Motor Speedway. <clears throat> this being the 10th race on the season for the MNC Army Melly All Racing Series. We had, a, we had a great race at Talladega. That was until a last lap crash. Kind of really mixed things up <clears throat> coming off the fourth corner and with Cat Batson eventually ending up the winner in that race. And here comes the field as they, as they round through turns three and four. Chevrolets on the front row. Ford's on the second row. And then you got Chevrolets on the third row. And then and see what happens here as the pace car off to number four. William Broccoli is in down the Kodak film. Oh, Chevrolet will lead him down the green. Fly flies. And the Coke Zero 300 is on. Soft turn number four, they come here. Keith Batson led the first lap. Now Joshua Osborne lead the second lap. As he comes off the start finish line here, they see the field screenshot, uh, uh, speed shot, I should say, through turns one and two. Sebastian Kukalon now jumps out in front, and he, and he knows how slow these cars run, these, these uh, B6 cars. Well, I don't know if any of them have hit fourth gear or not, truly, because we've seen the most of the, the leaders now have just hit third gear. Well, one's now one's in fourth gear. That's Jessica Shelton. <coughs> Kukulon leads that lap. Shelton looks to the low side. She'll take the lead. Carter Friesen goes to second position, third position, fourth position now. Or trying for third, I should say, is Gene Samper and the Hungry Jack Buick. So red cars first, second, and third. Here comes number 27, Carter Friesen to the low side. So yeah, by now, yeah, now, now all the cars are in fourth gear at the moment here. So yeah, I was gonna, I was gonna think, wonder there for a minute if all the cars are gonna be in third gear for the whole race. I thought, but <clears throat> so anyway, um, the lead still being now being the lead the last time by was the um, Carter Friesen in car 27, and now here they come to the low inside, almost three wide there. We saw a minute ago here, as you see some of the back of the pack starters now going to the front. Some of the ones who started in the front are dropping way back. And inside goes John Andrews in car 72. He looks low to the track on Carson Gum. <laughs> he'll take the lead. Here comes Nathan Orman to the low side in car 92 as he as he'll look to the low side, takes the lead or takes tries to tries to take the lead, excuse me. He's got Joshua Michaels and Arthur Xavier behind him in car 03. Mitchell Collins in 48. They see him in the Staff America Oldsmobile. See as he uh, as he tries to hook up behind the car zero three. Char Charles Samuel zero eight. He's the winner. He was winner on the short track at Hickory this season.
four Chevrolets in the top four spots with the lone non-Chevy product in third. That's the Ellsmobile of Collins. Check up just a little bit. And it looked like for a minute something was wrong with the 36 car of Ryan George, but he's back up to speed. Apparently, Justin Dearborn has gotten by him in 15, but a lot of the cars on the outside lane did as well. And that said, we're going to pack just a little bit there as they go through turns one and two again. Dylan Young's car, car number two, the DuPont Chevy. James Henry has the best time race so far, almost 163 miles on a qualified and just 158 miles, which is very slow for Charlotte, considering also that Cup Physics and GNS Physics can run speeds of about 175 to over 180 miles per hour, 175 for the GNS and 180 plus for Cup. Same speeds of upwards of about 185, 186 miles an hour for the Polar, the Shorter Cup business here in Charlotte. <clears throat> but for GNS, they are really, very really slow at, a, at, all, at not even 160 miles an hour. They do top over 160, as you see in the draft, 165 in the case of Levi McIntyre now for the fast lap of the race so far. And Dylan Young right now at the 24th position in the DuPont Chevrolet. <clears throat> John Andrews, meanwhile, still leads the race here. Here comes Mitchell Collins to the low sign, car 48. Press the peak low. No, nope, here comes 45. Joshua Michaels to the low sign as he, as he takes the position away. That's for second place. Dustin Bowen to third, or tries fourth, or I should say the seventh car. He, he's got it. Gene Samper and Jessica Shelton, two of the ladies in the field, running fourth and fifth. Of course, two of the ladies have one. That's Shelton at Daytona and Cat Bassett at Talladega. So two of the ladies, so both the plate races were won by were won by two of the ladies in the field. Jean said, well, she hopes to come the third of the ladies to, to win a race here this season. She and she's up to the lead now as she's as she takes the lead. We're about to complete the 13th lap. We have 27 to go. Here at Charlotte, and here comes Shelton for the lead. Now number number 11 is a 1992 Ford. She's driving Sam, Gene Samberg at the wheel of a 91 Buick. No, Scratch has scratch actually a 92 Buick she's driving. Or the car was actually driven in 1992, but it was actually, actually a Buick model's a 91. Jackson Hayward takes the number 01 Carolina Ford dealers Ford to second place now. That's one of the K, uh, KAB Enterprises machines as he as he goes through turns one and two now. Here comes Arthur Xavier for second place as Shelton leads her first lap of the race. And Orman now tries for third position. Emmanuel Hartnett and the pole sitter in the four car. That's William Brock. There you see the last lap speed. So uh, this is the last lap speed so far in this race here. Levi McIntyre has the best lap so far at 165.802 miles an hour, almost 166 miles per hour. These cars really, really fast around Charlotte in the draft here. Well, actually, as I mentioned before, not as fast as the as Cup Physics, is where they'll run uh, over 190 miles an hour in the draft on this track. 
I know I said 185 to 186, but that's how they qualify. That's where they qualify at. <laughs> in some cases, just depends on the weather conditions here as well, too, on, on how fast you'll go. <clears throat> Meantime, Nathan Orman leads that led, led that last time by. Here comes William Brock for the lead. He's got it. Here comes Nathan Hudson to the low side. He wants to go for the lead. And number 60. Car, Jeremiah Dwayne's up there. There's number 21, Quentin Moore, Dylan Young, and Levi McIntyre, Kyle Matthews, and Cole Deaver. Several tough drivers that they have to try to hold off for position now. In a matter of about four in a row. Hudson leads his first lap of the race, and now here comes Dylan Young to the low side as he takes that blue DuPont Chevy to the low side. That's the Ricky Craven DuPont cars, by the way, in case you are one have been one of the first nine races of the season. Season, that's the that's the, that was the cars that only Ricky Craven drove. And I think uh, Ricky Hendrick did too in the in the late nineties or early two thousands, I'm not sure which, but that was mainly a Ricky Craven colored machine. <clears throat> While as we all know Jeff Gordon had the had a different DuPont scheme in the Cup series. But Young's got the lead, and here comes Kyle Matthews inside of his Buckeye buddy, Levi McIntyre. Both from the southern portion of Ohio, but, but different parts of the southern portion of Ohio. Matt, Matthews from Dayton, and McIntyre from Portsmouth. And meantime, we got, meantime, we, meantime, we got a little touch of peach here, because George, because we got Georgia up front now with Cole Deaver in the, in the Dale Earnhardt colors. Three wins this season for Deaver, and, and two of them have come on a short track, Bristol and Richmond, and he also won Darlington this season. He had to leave briefly, but Rob Evans takes it away. Phil Parker, Johnny Gardner now, now behind him. And Cat Bats in car 28, and he now ride with Johnny Gardner in car 44. Stretch into turn number three. Here comes number 44. No. Cat Batson now goes for the lead. Now she's got it. As Gardner led them. By about a half a car length on the start finish line. Here comes Seth Cullen, 32 to the low side. He's got Charles Samber behind him. James Henry and 38 and Kev Shearer to the low side. Ford in first, Chevy second, Pontiac third, Chevy in fourth, and fifth and sixth at the moment. And also seventh with Rob Evans. Then you got a then you got a pair of Fords there, but in behind those three Chevys. Problems with the 87 car, that's the 87 of James Henry, and he's slow on the track. James Henry, who was running second when he crossed the start finish line the last time by, he is very slow on the track. Obviously, problems with the Texas Pete Sauce's Chevy. And they have caught the 59 car of Ryan Brommer to put him a lap down. <clears throat> and it's going to hold up a slew of people there back there. So meantime, Carter Friesen has the lead. Second position is now Cat Batson as we're now down to... Or we will be down to 15 to go this time by Kev Shearer and Keith Batson pull up behind 
can at the, at the moment. So Kev Shear goes to the front spot now. Cat and Pete Batson, who led the first lap of the race, now goes to the second position. Here comes Quentin Moore. About to push Batson to the lead now in number one. So two Fords, and you got a Pontiac and an Oldsmobile, a Ford and an Oldsmobile, and another one in behind. So Keith Batson goes to the top spot. Here comes Joshua Osborne in 63 to the low side. He'll look to the low side. Sticks the nose at Pontiac down low and he'll take the lead. Osborne with three Pontiacs in the field. Him, Ryan George, and Seth Collins, the only three in the field. <coughs> Fielding Pontiac Grand Prix. And here comes the here comes the oh, well, Jeremiah Dwayne to the low side. He'll take the lead with now 13 to go this time by. Charlotte has been known for some upset winners in the NR community here, community in some ways. Mainly in the Casual GTX Cup Series, we actually had some a few <coughs> upset winners in, in Charlotte. Do we see some here today in Melly Yellow? Well, well, we will, like I said, we'll know it about. Well, this time about will be coming to 12 to go. We will be finishing on lap number 28. <coughs> Julia Sanderson has lead in here. Jacob Sturgeon looked at, tried to look to the low side. A bit too late, though, because he had Rob Evans committed, because Rob Evans committed himself to the low side of the track. And he'll take position away, and car 17 takes the lead. Justin Dearborn in 15, Joshua Michaels in 45, and William Brock in number 4. Four Chevrolets in the, in the inside lane. Michaels to the low side. Can he lead this lap over Dearborn? No, he does not. Down the low side goes William Brock as he as he, as he moves low for position. <coughs> Tries to peek to the inside. Nothing doing for the moment because here comes number 45. Nope, Brock does move to the low side. Spoils Austin Colano's hopes of taking the lead. So move the Kodak Film Chevy to the top spot and the FDP Brake Chevy to the second position now. But here comes Gene Samper sticking the nose of her little red Buick to the low side. Ten laps to go here at Charlotte in the Coke Zero 300. Justin Dearborn to the... Actually, that's... Excuse me, that's Justin Bowen in car number seven. Taking the Harry Gant covers up to the low, down to the low side. He'll take position away. Here comes number eight, Sebastian Kukalon. On board Sebastian Kukalon's car as he runs it and he now takes the lead away. Look at this, Nathan Hudson, right in your living room. Jackson Haywood drives for, drives for second place in a 0-1 car. As he takes the Carolina Ford Dealers Ford to the second position now, they come off to number two. Carson Gum up there, Levi McIntyre. Nathan Ormond, Paul Minnick. People on went the last time by. Now Carson Gunn takes the takes the position away. But here comes McIntyre to the low side. Nothing doing for the moment. And here comes number 92, Nathan Ormond. 
He took, he peeks low as McIntyre saw that and he decides, no, you're not taking the lead away from me, Nathan, and he'll look, he'll take the lead away for the moment. 34 laps in the books, six laps to go here at Charlotte. And now Paul Minnick goes for second place in car 46. He's got the push from Jessica Shelton in number 11. Arthur Xavier's up there, Mitchell Collins, two, two guys that could pull up an upset here. Remember the 59 car of Ryan Brommer is not on the lead lap. He is in the he is in the 39th position. By the way, the, by, by was a camshaft failure on the fifth on the 87 car of James Henry. In the meantime, Chloe Owen had a header failure on her number 55 Luxair Ford. <coughs> a header failure is something internally. Uh, um, Internally in the engine department is, a, is a, actually in relation to an engine failure on the 55 Ford. So frustrating days for both James Henry and for Chloe Owen as well. Meantime, the battle does rage up front, though. It is Arthur Xavier leading the pack now. In the second position goes 48. That's that's Mitchell Collins in the Staff America Oldsmobile. He beats the nose at the low side of the, of the track. Four laps to go here at Charlotte. Three wide meantime. Three wide racing right there. Actually, they were three wide there. Emmanuel Harden was stuck between Phil Parker and the and the four car of um, William. And, uh, actually, no, the seven car of Dustin Boland. Meantime, Ryan Brommer back on the lead lap for the moment there, but don't count on that being for long. Here comes car 72, that's John Andrews, and here comes number, here comes number 39, that's Jesse Turner to the low side. Is he going to take the lead from the 72? No, yes, he does. He's going to push Andrews up the track. I, think, I thought Andrews was going to successfully throw the block, but he's not, but... Through the block just a little bit too late as they come up to number 4, the white... Uh, two, actually, two, actually, it's two laps to go. Turner has the lead. Here comes Dylan Young, Cole Deaver, Kyle Matthews, and the 34 of Gene Sanford. Maybe down between those five, maybe six cars that can win this race because Ryan George is up there too. Dylan Young to the low side. De Deaver looks peaks higher up a little bit. <coughs> decides to stick. Decides to stick. The knows that Goodman Chevy back in behind Dylan Young's car off to number four. The white flag waves. Matthews for second place. White flag waves, one to go, Deaver pushed Matthews down low, but Matthews says, no way, I want to win this race, he looks, he looks to the low side of Deaver for second place, he wants to go for the lead, here comes Matthews for the lead on, on Dylan Young. Down the backstretch they come, Gene Samuel, what's she going to do in the 34 machine? Down the backstretch they go in the third turn here. Off turn number four, they come. Samper does not make a move. I don't know if she is or not to, to the start finish line. She comes to the inside of Matthews. Short of the line, Kyle Matthews wins the Coke Zero 300 here at Charlotte. Another fantastic Charlotte race, and it, here and it ends up with Kyle Matthews, whose car's been running a bit rugged all season long. But, but, but a Charlotte that comes alive today is Kyle Matthews takes the AC, AC Delco Ken Trainer colors to victory lane here today, averaging 160.516. <clears throat> Gene Sanford comes home second, third will go to Ryan George, fourth place to Emmanuel Hartnett, Dylan Young comes home fifth. Sixth place to Phil Parker, Cole Deaver seventh, eighth to Charles Sanford, ninth Jesse Turner, and Keb Shearer comes home in tenth. So ten races are in the books on the season here. As the uh, we'll give you the rest of the finishing order here for you. Johnny Gardner comes home in eleventh, twelfth to John Andrews, thirteenth Keith Batson, fourteenth. We'll go to Seth Cole, Carter Fraser in 15th, Mitchell Collins 16th, 
<coughs> Austin Colano, 17th. Arthur Xavier, 18th. 19th, Levi McIntyre. Quentin Moore, 20th. Jeremiah Dwayne, Jessica Shelton, Rob Evans, Paul Minnick, Kat Batson, Julius Anderson, then Nathan Orman, Jacob Sturgeon, Carson Gum, and Jacob Thibodeau was the top 30 in today's event. Mash, er, er, rest of the finishing order for you here. Sebastian Kukalon comes home 31st, then Jackson Haywood, Dustin Bowen, Joshua Osborne, Nathan Hudson, Michael, Joshua Michaels, William Brock, and Justin Dearborn was the last car to finish on the lead lap in 38th. While the only car to, finish, to not finish on the lead lap is Ryan Brommer in 39th position, one lap down. <clears throat> Two cars we mentioned out of the race were James Henry with a camshaft failure and the header problem, or actually at all intents and purposes an engine failure on the 55 of Chloe Owen. She will finish dead, unfortunately for her, dead last in the field. So that will do it today at Charlotte Motor Speedway. Congratulations again to Kyle Matthews, the winner of the Coke Zero 300. If you like what you see here, be sure to subscribe to the Industry Sports of the Gaming Channel. We got inner races, gaming videos, whatever the president of the Industry of Seth Cole Design Service channel. And we also got some <clears throat> in our online videos as well, too. So be sure to check those out as well. And we also, and, uh, also be sure to check out our other offline series, including the Pedigree Xfinity Series, Door Cell Cup Series, Budweiser All Pro Series, and on Thrash Mini 899's channel, the Inner Series Marvel Studios Cup Series. Be sure to check those series out as well, and also be sure to check, well, not only both, well, not only Thrash Mini X's channel out, but also this channel is out as well, and you will not regret doing either one. So that will do today's Shuttle Motor Speedway. For now, this is James Qualls, and production of the NSCRA Offline Racing at its best. We will see you for the next race in the tour at Dover.